to Arihant Online Academy and here in this session we will discuss the proof of consensus theorem. So basically it is the basic property of the digital electronics in which several questions are there on the consensus theorem. Basically you can remember this theorem by solving repeatedly questions on this theorem right. But here our need is to prove this theorem that how the left hand side part that is x y plus x prime z plus y z equals to right hand side part that is x y plus x prime z right so here we will prove this how let's see here x y is there plus x prime z is there plus y z now i can write it like x y z concatenate one right so no problem up till here then x y plus x prime z plus y z and by using basic properties of the switching algebra I can write one as a x plus x bar isn't it now x y plus x bar z plus I can write it like x y z plus x bar y z right don't confuse that it is in under uh, upper case and lower case right suppose it is x and it is x bar now x y we are remaining it x y right so here in this step you can observe that in x y z and in this x y we can use we can use or we can basically we can take we can take x and y as a common part and write 1 plus z isn't it by using basic properties of switching algebra and we can also write x bar z and x bar y z is x bar z and 1 plus y now anything we are added with 1 if we are adding in any boolean variable then what we get we have learned now x plus 1 is nothing but 1 and x dot 0 is nothing but 0 so 1 plus x 1 plus y 1 plus z any boolean algebra in any boolean variable if we are adding 1 it becomes 1 so it is nothing but x y plus x bar z so if you will observe here x y plus x prime z plus y z becomes x y plus x prime z which is nothing but the right hand side part so it is the very easiest proof of the cons consensus theorem so i hope you all got understand it and you can solve the question directly if you observe such kind of equation on any part of the equation then you can easily replace that with this one means x y is there and x bar z basically y and z here you can say that it is a redundant why it is redundant because it is independent of any variable right because no use of y and z is here so you can say that it is a redundant part so you can remove that you can ignore that but here it is a proof that y y z is a redundant right however you can directly use x y plus x bar z plus y z directly as a x y plus x bar z on the place of x you can get any kind of variable right a b c any variable you can get but you have to just observe the expression that whether it is in the consensus theorem expression or not if it is so then you can directly write it like that i hope it is all clear to you Thank you so much guys. Have a nice day. Jai Hind. Jai Bharat.